Hey Raiders, welcome back to the channel, it's Jarek Gaming, hope you're doing great today. We are back with our Secret Room series in the Doom Tower Hard Dark Fey Rotation. Today we are looking at Secret Room number 5, which is Force Defense Champs Only. Now, if you've, there are some very good champions you could use if you've got them all fully geared up and uh, ready to go. Unfortunately, I don't have them all geared up and ready to go. Um, I just need to look at Sepulchre to see if she is ready and she looks okay because she's got an AoE increased defense which is going to be very handy so plus her passive which um, she has a chance of 25% chance of blocking incoming damage on one ally so that's going to be handy um, so I'm going to put her in there I'm going to put Death Knight Second place. Now, who's going to have a um, Doom Tower aura? Don't think any of them do, but was that all battles? That's 25% all battles. Right, okay. So, Death Knight will be first. Then we're going to be Resin, most disappointed champion in the game. Uh, Helior, a little bit of cleanse, a bit of healing. Well, she's not even that good. That's the sad thing. And then um, I'm debating. Let's put War Chief in there just for a bit of control. Um, that should work. Not sure. It might be a bit of a long, a bit of a long game. There. That's the only problem. Not to get Nari um, set up one day. But I don't think he does too much really. It's a shame, he needs, he needs a buff really. He's a cool looking champ, real cool. But as soon as he came in, everyone got him and was like, what am I going to do with him? Not much really, just sit in the vault and uh, look after your, your vault champs. But I mean, look, look at the level of detail he's put into it. Imagine being the, the game designer that created this guy, sat there for, you know, it's got to be what, a month? At least, at least a month, maybe more longer. Drawing these guys, designing these guys, all the artwork. I mean, you can see the inspirations, like Green Goblin inspiration. Only to, to then have him sort of sit you know, in the vault and, and have no one use him at all. A bit disheartening, really, but there we go. Anyway, yes, yeah, Nari, I'd like to use him. So I'm going to kick this off. I may speed it up, depending on what happens at the end, because this could be quite a long, drawn-out fight. So we'll see how it goes. If I had Stalter's geared up and ready to go, then uh, I think it would be okay. But I, I had a quick look on uh, hillhades.com just for some false champions that have uh, decreased defense down. And um, there's none that really have it, or well, none have it on false champs. There's no false champs, epic or um, legendary. I didn't actually check the weak version um, but it's fine. Uh, Sepulchre is going to have the increased defense. So fingers crossed that will help with some damage. So, right, let's kick it off and see what happens. Um, I'm going to let it run also because this is one of the ones where you can probably just let it go. There's no real need to specifically um, muck around. I mean, you might want to maybe target War Chief first because he'll probably be a pain in the backside. Razin as well with his, well, as our, my Razin just did, he's turned me to control. Um, actually, putting in Drexel probably could have been a good idea, but actually, do you know what? We're, we seem to be smacking through these guys quite well. Um, just to see. I mean, Death Knight's gonna, he's going to soak up loads, so it's hopefully he's going to be just healing himself. Okay, no, that's just fine. That's fine, actually. I think this team's going to be okay. I mean, should be reasonably, uh, I mean, we, we can double check for other comps, but Death Knight, Login Champ, Razin, Fusion Champ, um, Sepulchre, you, know, you can probably, you know, during the times two, quite easily pop one of those. If you're lucky, War Chief and, and um, Helior, yeah, I think both of those could probably be replaced with pretty much any other one, really. Um, that these these three at the front will probably be the most useful during this run. Sepulchre for the increased defense plus that chance to 
stop any hit. Death Knight will be soaking up damage and healing. And Razin's going to do a little bit of turn meter control. Um, I think he's also got a single hit. Excuse me. A single hit decreased defense. Um, let's see what he does. Well, it's not in his A1. I have to check. Oh, excuse me. Right, okay, this is going to be annoying. Should have actually targeted him straight away. Maybe if he was manning it, you'd um, just A1 it on that first round just to get back to Razin's five turn cooldown. Ridiculous. Um, five turn cooldown, turn meter, um, steal. But uh, that's fine. It's only going to add another minute or so to the run. Doesn't look like anyone's going to really give us any grief. Got some big shields. I think that's Helios' shield there. I think if I built Helio up a bit more a bit more punch, he might um, get a better shield as well. But I'll still I still find him in completely disappointing really. Except in Spider. In Spider that shield is amazing. Um but you know, maybe with the new dungeons he might um I might bring him back out and see what he can do. The new spider drops. Because that shield, he, he brings on the shield he brings on that spider level is crazy. It's uh, it's like a, a miscreate monster style size, it's just massive. But this is the rest of it. I mean, the cleanse will be handy, I guess. But yeah, he doesn't really do much. Doesn't hit hard enough. But I think he's meant to be good in some um, defense comps for. Uh, Arena or 3v3. Some of my clan mates have used him before in this 3v3. Okay, we're doing alright. We're doing okay. We're targeting Razin is clearly the threat. There we go. Shields are back. Death Knight can give us some healing. And that wraps off to you. Go a bit of control. I do quite like War Chief. When I first pulled him, I think it was a while ago, and I was, you know, I was a bit like, oh man, terrible champ, blah blah blah. And although his buff didn't really do too much, he's um, he's really shone in obviously Magma Dragon and Hydra. The Hydra team are running in. Um, it's just, he's you know, he's free turn provoke like there. It's just incredible, especially in, in Hydra. It's just so so good. Him. I generally run him and Husk um, or uh, Krisk just to make sure that um, there is you know, that provoke on that Hydra head all the time. Because if you can get it off on the other champ, get the one turn, then do War Chief's three turn, normally you're back around again to either Krisk or um, even like Vogue off, you know, they provoke, so you, you can keep that head constantly really unprovoked, so it's, it's really handy. So then they can't cleanse, and then you, you've got your debuffs on off work all the time, so very handy to have. And we're doing good, we're doing good actually. This comp is working well. Good old Rain Beast used to be, uh, used to be the bane of our lives in Arena years ago. I'll say years ago, but a while ago. I remember fighting him. It was a solo rain beast, and he beat the four of my um, arena gents, pretty low level admittedly, just because of his constant heal and constant shield. It's just such a wind up. Now it's been slightly nerfed. He's just uh, a shadow of his former self. There we go, there we go, lovely. What's this, five minutes? Yeah, it's not too bad, maybe I won't speed it up. I think, yeah, maybe if you had some big damage dealers like Saltus, then you'd probably be um, doing it a lot easier. Once again, if you had Saltus and uh, Sepulcher with the increased defense, that'd be a much faster run. Excellent, there we go, we've got Vol. We've got Vol, and we have two of Basatha, the next one to get. Got something out of uh, Ghostbusters, isn't it? Excellent, let's save him for the next fusion, shall we? Or maybe not. Do you really want to get... What do you guys think about this new um, new uh, Elhain fusion? Looks a bit, you know, but 
I'll probably get it anyway, obviously. You gotta get the chance because um it's only gonna be doing the things that we do every day anyway, so only really the summer summons um events and the uh, the ones that real kind of cause the problem. But even then you can get around it if you if you if you knuckle down, you know, and just don't don't just splurge your, your shards all the time. You, you can get for it easy enough. Um Cool. Okay, well there we go. That was room five. That's uh pretty pretty easy to do actually, I think. I don't think there was really much of an issue with that. As I say, I think these three I'd say were very good to have. Sculpture exceptionally exceptional because of the increased defense. She's the only one that does the AoE increased defense in uh for the force champ so if you've got her definitely bring her in she's great i'm with death knight you should have him he's gonna give you a nice fat lead um uh and his uh, aura so that's great resin you may not have even fused him yet some people aren't even gonna bother because he's just because this oh it's on a six turn i thought it was a five turn see i mean that that needs to come down to like a four Really, four turn cooldown, that's enough, isn't it, surely? That six turns, ridiculous. But the A2 is going to give you some decreased defense. It's only a single target, but, you know, if it's the one you want to take out and you've got Saltus there to give him a big whack, then so be it. So good, 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 good. So, yeah, I, I think this one's pretty doable. Um, you know, it's not a difficult one. It can be a little bit time-consuming, but there's plenty of chance you can... Uh, you can use for that so i'm not gonna waste any more time on there i think we're all good for that guys let me know in the uh, chat in the comments if you've used anyone different what comps you've used if you're stuck if you've only got certain champs please feel free to drop a little message down below and i'll uh, see what we can look at now in regards to bommel i uh i ran this one today finally got my little uh team set up this is inspired by the um yst video that he and Hill Hades put up a little while ago. I will run a single run. I'm going to leave it on auto. I don't think I ran it auto last time, but I'm going to leave it on auto. We'll see how we get on. Fingers crossed the um, config I've put in will work. Basically, you want Grishnak's... Um, I could go in Grishnak because it sounds like something in Lord of the Rings. Nishak. Nishak. You need him to be um, ready to do his main obviously bomb drops plus the allied attacks from um, Barrakin, um, uh, Cardial or you know if you've got Longbeard um, even that Lonnothoral will probably work fine um, you know any allied attack chance you probably want two of them at least um, I've got Ithos in there just to help with the waves um, I think I've turned off all of their abilities um, I've got Lydia in there, just why not, because she does decrease, um, decrease defense and weaken as well, plus she gives us a little, some little buffs, um, but anyone that um, can put weaken on, like uh, they used Arbiter, because she pulls it out on her A1, so that was quite good obviously when the allies attack. Um, good, good, good. So we've got three, got a few bombs on there now. Fingers crossed. We get, okay, there's a couple more. This might not do it in the first hit. And then fingers crossed. Cardio's going to do his revive. There we go. So we're all going to drop anyway. It just depends whether or not we can get Nishak's A1 off again. Come on. A1 him. A1 him. Need some bombs. Nope. <laughs> okay. Some work to be done. But that's pretty much the gist of it. For some reason, I think it's just RNG. He needs to land I think at least three of his um of his bombs. Maybe actually. One of the reason was And all allies except this champ will attack the target. Okay, and then cardio. All allies. Hmm. Because. 
Just didn't seem to be landing enough bombs. I know it's a 50%. It's fully booked. So that's 50%. Actually. Does he have the mastery to... Yeah, so an extra 5%. So that should be 55% to get the bombs off, so uh, that was annoying. Hmm. Let's do one more. One more quick run. I'm pretty sure it will work. I think it's just a bit of an RNG. And also, they were doing it on um, floor 90 in the video. So I think possibly because his HP is higher, I think the bombs end up doing more damage. So when you're a bit lower, I don't think they hit quite as hard. Although, um, I think I managed to kill him with six or seven bombs on there. Anyway, I will rerun this when I get up to the floor 90 anyway to see what happens. But I think it was just RNG. RNG got us there. Ideally, we need to land three bombs on the first go. And then at least another two or three on the next two attacks. To check actually we're not getting too many debuffs on. Make sure we're not going over ten. Right, so there we go. Weakens on there. Decreased defense is there. Two bombs there. And the decrease attack. Right, plus another two. So yeah, there should be more. It's just bad RNG I think. Right, another none that landed then. Right, that's just bad RNG. Hmm. But at least with Doom Tower, you know, if you fail, you fail, we just rerun it. That's really annoying. Right, come on. Right, come on, get scared. Oh, he's been stunned, of course he has. Oh. Hmm. That's annoying. Right. Take three. Is it going to work? It's just RNG. It's going to slap you to you guys. Mm. Oh, cold tea. That's not good. Right. When his accuracy is nearly 380, I think it's like 378, 379, should definitely be enough accuracy, I don't think he's resisting the, uh, the bombs, I'll double check, but pretty sure his accuracy is not that high, okay. quick look on the old hellhaders.com, um, Two's on there. Decrease that. This best brush. Right, oh, another two. I get another two on there, and I think we're golden. Come on. Right, go. Come on, two bombs. Didn't get any. Hmm, it's not good to mine. Tower bosses. Don't think it would tell me the resistance. I'm pretty sure that should be high enough so that we might just beat him anyway. <laughs> no, it's got absolutely nuked. On the old Helm Hades site. Oh, I just missed that. There we go. Right, so rotation three. Yeah, look, accuracy three fifth three five five plus. So we should be fine. We should be fine with accuracy. 
getting really annoying. Should be getting the bombs off. It says on his A1. I'm going to stop it on its when it's in the shack's turn actually. Excuse me. This is making the video go much longer than it should be. Excuse me. Right, um. Come on, yeah, get rid of these guys. Come on, Ethos, do what he's here for. Sort out the, uh, the ads. Nice. Right, so. Lydia, if you please. Thank you very much. Right, so. Attacks three times at random. Oh, I wonder if, I wonder if because he drops these bombs, yeah, it's three times at random. Bombs, okay, right, so let's just see what happens, right? So we do attack, two bombs, is that what it says? Two bombs, yes, right, then that, which decreases that. Then we do this so again I didn't see if that was resist for I can't get it right so they'll do it again now it says three times at random I guess there could be a chance that it's going to hit a bomb we get one off right well that's not going to work So then I wonder if someone in this team is, um, I reckon has some turn meter, uh, which one is it? It's that one, isn't it? Evil Eye. Someone's got Evil Eye. Oh, no, it's Sniper. Lydia. Lydia, it's you. She can these get you sorted out. We, um, let's just let's just reset Lydia. So I think it's that evil eye which is um, oop, causing the bomb to drop. That could potentially be causing the random hits to hit the bomb. Obviously, it's not going to land on the bomb, is it? So no evil eye. Tell me where in deep of course. No, not about that. Yes, for that one. Um, let's just go down this route. For her here. Um, right, we'll leave that for now. I reckon that's it. I reckon that was it. Causing that second, that bomb to drop. After that first ally attack, which then gave him some turn meter, um, a little bit of turn meter drop. So then he's he's dropped that that first bomb. That's why I reckon. That. Let's see what happens now. It's still going to be RNG, of course, because it's still fifty-five percent three times. But can we get lucky? Can we get lucky? I think as long as we can get five, at least five or six, then I think he's going to get taken out. Oh, look around the comments, guys. How's your um, <clears throat> how's your raiding getting on? What's going on? What's going What's going on in the world of raid? Are we at Doom Tower? You've been doing the uh, summer rush, saving up for the fusion, the new fusion for your start champs. I still haven't had all the details yet, or seen the details for these new dungeons. So once they drop, I will hopefully be getting the video put out. This with my thoughts and uh, some potential comps. Okay, there we go. Look, that was better. And there's no bomb dropping. So now, oh, okay, perfect, perfect. Fingers crossed. Not quite dead, but I think those poisons are going to finish him off. And I reckon bomb will ninety. 
the um, the damage is, is increased. So that's him done. Not quite as fast as YST, but as I say, there we go. 450, done. That was the Y. Lydia, Evil Eye. Make sure Evil Eye is not on any of your masteries, because then that will affect your Nishak with his random attack. He's obviously going to maybe potentially, uh, randomly, if it's 50 50, he'll be hitting that bomb, and obviously it's just going to waste it. So there we go. That is floor 50 Dreadhorn. Um, now, Lydia, you can get if you've managed to get your faction wars done. Um, Nishak, you should have if you've done the fusion. Fingers crossed you have. Ethos, uh, again, I just really any sort of nuka just to help get through the waves. Once you're through, you don't need to worry about him. It's literally going to be your ally attack guys. And as I said, um, if I just take him out for a sec, you could use. Um, mm, 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 mm. where was it? Uh, where is it? Lost on Lost on Nile. I'm just trying to work out how many champs can you. Uh... Obviously, you've got Creela. Creela would be good if you have Creela with Charm because she will free random allies. Now, obviously, the only issue with that is. Um, you may miss out on this shake. So perhaps if you set up a uh, glass cannon nuka, so they get taken out before you get into the, uh, the last stage, that will guarantee that you've got Nishak there. Um, here he is. The, the fusion no one uses. Um, and that's when he's been shield. It's only didn't realize. Nope. Yeah. So there you go. See, and then you've got, um, the finest hour books down to four turns. Um, he gives you a little bit of shielding, so he'll help you get through the waves. But you know, if you haven't got Freela, Longbeard, um, Cardio, or anything like that, then yeah, you, know, you may have done the fusion. You may be sitting there thinking, Oh, I haven't got any of those guys. Don't forget, he has an ally attack. Um, it doesn't really give any other buffs apart from some crit damage, which isn't really going to help you with Bommel. But he will um, he will help you get those bombs on from, from Nishak. So there you go. Um, I don't know if there's any others really. I may have to look it up, but I think that's all of them. There might be another one. I'll have to check. Anyway, yeah, Farrakhan, you can get if you've been pulling during times two. Very good chance you're going to get yourself a Farrakhan. Farrakhan, Lanathrol. Um, a Lydia or an Arbiter, again with a weaken. Anyone that's got a weaken on that A1 will um, help you out because obviously ally attacks, you're going to land it. As long as they're in before your Nishak, then you're great. Then you're good to go. Um, I see, I see why my Lydia's faster than Nishak because she's got the uh, big hit with the um, decreased defense and weakened. So there we are. Okay, guys, we're done. We are done with Secret Room 5. And Bommel 50. Sorry that ran on a bit longer than um, it should have. I should have clocked that there was an extra bomb falling down. But there you are. Uh, it's late and I'm quite tired. I've had a big fishing trip today. Got very cold for no real action. Not a single bite. Don't go fishing in the winter or when it's 4 degrees. Because it's a waste of time. Stay in the warmth. Guys, till the next one. See you soon.